Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris Pike. Hey guys, I'm coming back here. I've got another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to change colors of different items that you import into uh, After Effects. A lot of you guys might have, uh, you build a title or you build a, uh, a design in Illustrator or Photoshop, for example, and you want to change colors inside of After Effects or change colors over time. Let me show you how to do that. We'll go real quick here, guys, if you're following along. I'm on a Mac. Let's go to Finder. I'm going to go to my desktop. And I just built something really, really simple called squares.ai. And it's a black and a yellow square. I'm going to drag and drop these bad boys into the project. I'm going to import it as a... Let's do it as a composition. And let's just get this party started. Okay, so you'll see here I've got squares as a composition. Now I'm going to double click on squares. And you're going to notice that it loads up, and I've got a composition with a black background. I've got a yellow square, and I've got a black square, but you can't really see it because the background is right, white. Pardon me. So let's just make a change there quick. Composition, composition settings, if you're working along with me. And background color, let's switch it out to white. So I just moved it to white just so that you guys can see a little better. Okay, good. Now these are on separate layers, so that's an important point. So layer two here is the yellow one. And let's say that, you know what, I've got this nice artwork or I've got whatever I brought in, but I don't want it to be yellow, I want it to be blue instead, right? A lot of people would then take it back to uh, Illustrator or Photoshop and make the changes over there, for example. You don't have to do that. The next step in this process, you go to effects and presets. Then you want to go down and you want to find a pro, uh, an effect called tint. And this is a really good effect. And now I'm going to drag and drop it onto that layer. And it's, it's on layer two, as you can see here. And Presto makes it gray, which isn't exactly what we wanted to do. But what we want to do is we want to map the black to the color that we said we wanted to be. And I think we said blue. So when I click over here and I go map bl black to blue, and then I go to map white. Oh, let's actually, let me do it correctly. Sorry, map white to blue. <laughs> I hit the wrong one there, guys. I'll leave the black black as is. You'll notice here that we have gone ahead and changed the color. So turn it off, turn it on. This is done inside of After Effects, obviously, and it's applied to external files like an Adobe Illustrator file. So I'm going to go ahead and Command Z that and change. Uh, no, let's 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 do that again. Now you'll notice here that as I as I'm on the time head, we can actually animate the color change over time while I got you. So let's go ahead and left click on this little timer. Now at time zero, it is blue. And maybe at time, let's go like somewhere around five seconds, we want it to be red. Okay, nice bright red. So now you'll see the transition from blue to red. And the weird part about all this is that when we take off this effect, it started out as yellow, went to blue, and then it went to red, guys. And this is the power of After Effects. This is the power of the tint option or the tint effect inside Adobe After Effects. Guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit. I got a ton more stuff coming up, and I will be back soon.